In this tutorial, we will teach you the basic functions and operations of the camera and tripod. When you open the camera case, this is what you should see inside. The camera, the battery, the SD card, and various other cables and connectors that you may or may not need during your shoot. Before you record, you will need to know how to attach the camera to the tripod, where the battery goes, where the SD card goes, and how to power on the camera. Next, the battery. The battery connection is on the back of the camera. On the battery itself, you will see an arrow. This arrow should be facing you and pointing down. When you insert the battery, push down until you hear it click. To remove the battery, press the button above it labeled push while lifting the battery up out of the socket. This camera has two SD card slots. To insert an SD card, push down on the tab and open the SD card slot door. Then insert the SD card into one of the two slots and close the door. Covering the lens of the camera should be a lens cap. In order to remove the lens cap, push in the tabs on both sides and pull out. You're now ready to turn the camera on. The on switch is on the right side of the camera. You will see a small white button and a larger red button. To turn the camera on, push the small white button and pull down. We will get to the large red button later. Once the camera has been turned on, you will be able to view your subject in one of two ways. You can use the viewfinder located on the back top of the camera, or you can use the LCD monitor on the left side of the camera. On the right side of the camera, you will see the zoom control, W for wide, T for tight. When you adjust the controller, you will notice the ring on the lens of the camera turning with it. In the front, on top of the camera, there is a built-in internal microphone. There are also two external audio inputs. On the bottom left side of the camera are the audio level control knobs. With these, you will be able to adjust the volume of both audio channels. You can also see that the camera is receiving audio by looking at the bottom left side of the LCD monitor or viewfinder. Once all of your settings are complete, you're ready to record. There are two record buttons you can use on this camera. One is the large red button on the right side next to the on switch. The other is a red button on the top of the camera next to a smaller zoom control. When you are not recording, you will see a green pause symbol on your LCD monitor or viewfinder. When you begin recording, that symbol will change to the red record symbol. You will notice the time code begins to count when you are recording. You will also see a battery life indicator as well as how much available space remains on the SD card. To stop recording, simply press the red record button again. When you open the tripod bag, this is what you should see. The tripod folded inside and a pouch containing the arm and instruction manual. To open and adjust the height of the tripod, you must first unhook the leg clips and open. There are two sets of leg height extensions on each leg. To adjust the height, simply unhook the extension locks on all three legs and raise the tripod to your desired height. Once your height is set, you can attach the arm. The arm can be found in the pouch inside the tripod bag. Fit the screw into either side of the tripod head and tighten, making sure the teeth fit together. Now it's time to attach the camera. First, remove the tripod plate by loosening the plate lock on the right side of the head. Pull the plate toward you and press the black button on the left side of the head. Attach the screw from the plate to the bottom of the camera and tighten. Slide the camera and tripod plate back onto the head and tighten the plate lock. Since you have adjusted the tripod's leg height and you may be on uneven ground, you can level the tripod head by loosening the headlock and adjust using the level on the back. You can adjust your camera angles by panning and tilting. To do this, make sure the pan lock on the back and the tilt lock on the left side 
are unlocked. Once your shot is set, be sure to lock them in place again. It's the best practice to place the lens of the camera directly over one of the tripod legs. That way, if the tripod should fall, your lens will be spared from direct damage. It also allows you to have more room standing behind the camera without accidentally kicking the tripod. Now you're ready to record your project.